vibrant, very youthful, and really inspirational. Creative, connected, and collaborative. Fun, <laughs> cutting edge, uh, innovative. Happening. I initially came here temporarily just to help my mom settle in, and I just I fell in love with the the state. It's just so peaceful. It looks like something on a postcard. It's like living where you would want to go on vacation. I couldn't leave. Well, we're really fortunate to have a clinical nurse leader program at UVM. As we transition more and more to a healthcare system that's focused on quality and safety for our patients, having a master's prepared nurse at the bedside is really crucial. We know that the way care happens in whatever setting you're in is a team-based approach. And so the more that we can start to prepare learners to work together before they even get into their clinical roles and their professional roles, it really strengthens what they bring to the team. We're at Apple Tree Bay Primary Care. This is the nurse practitioner faculty practice of the College of Nursing and Health Sciences at the University of Vermont. I'm just gonna take a listen to your heart here. Okay. This functions as a primary care office for the community. And one of the reasons why we did this was because there was a loss of a primary care provider in this neighborhood. This neighborhood was going to have to go elsewhere to find primary care. So it was a natural relationship between the university and the community to fill that gap that was gonna be pretty large, but also to really provide learning opportunities for our students. Increasingly, care is moving from the acute care setting and into the community. So we want students to understand how to care for clients, patients in the community setting. We have an immersion course in Oaxaca, Mexico, which is for 10 days over spring break. And what that really is looking at is to introduce students to the Hispanic culture and to increase their sensitivity and awareness to having interactions with a diverse culture. And the reflections that the students provide upon return are just incredible. So as we know, healthcare has, has evolved and uh, much of healthcare occurs in a team or collaborative setting and uh, it's no longer enough to prepare uh, students uniprofessionally. It's, it's no longer sufficient to, to think that they'll pick it up as they go along uh, as they're working in a clinical setting. We need to be intentional about preparing them to know really the, the roles of the other members of the team uh, and best practices for working in a team in a collaborative setting. It's important for good collaborative patient care but it's also important for the care of our communities. We just love having the students there it's that youth, that energy, the creativity. They, uh, they're not stuck in the way things used to be or are supposed to be. These young students really want to um, create the new world of healthcare. Vermont is very special because even though we're this small state, we're doing some very unique things in healthcare reform. We have a very good reputation in many of the hospitals in Boston. We have a great reputation over here. And so there's a history of excellence that the, the department has, has owned for, for many years. I think what makes us particularly unique is we're part of an academic health sciences, so we have a world-class college of medicine here. We have a quaternary trauma one medical center, and then the college of nursing and health sciences. And we're not only physically located, but we do things programmatically together. So there's cross-teaching and clinical placements. I think ours is a, a pretty unique portfolio with all the different professions together working with nursing. A community like Burlington is one that tends to be at the cutting edge of a lot of things. And you could just look at policy or laws that are national in scope that really started here in Burlington. And we're pretty proud of that. I could work at a hospital that's a lot closer to where I live where I wouldn't have to commute, but um, the teaching aspect of this hospital and being able to precept students and seeing the young interns and residents come on and the med students and it's just very vibrant and alive and a lot of good energy and to have such fast paced young people coming and going and it's, it's good to inspire and be inspired. UVM did such a great job in teaching us more about what's outside of the classroom. You know, think about nursing as kind of learning the nitty gritty, but the program I got to be a part of really focused on how to work with other people and other disciplines to provide the best experience for the patient.